guys, welcome back to my channel and to my two year review of my Alexander McQueen trainers. Um, when the world fell to pieces in 2020 and all my holidays got cancelled, I looked at my wish list and these trainers were on my wish list for a really long time, but I could never justify the rather hefty price tag. And then when everything went to shit, I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna treat myself and I'm gonna buy me some Alexander McQueen trainers. And I have to say, I'm so happy that I did. And now I'm on the hunt for another pair of luxury trainers. So let me explain what this is all about, why I got them, why I wanted them and all of that business. So I have an issue with my knee. I think I may have mentioned it before in some of my other videos, maybe in my Gucci loafer video. I'll put that here. Um, and I have been trying to find a nice alternate, alternate, oh, <laughs> I've been trying to find a nice alternative to heels. Anything I can do to like elevate my look is just, it's a, it's a bit of a given. So I'm really happy that I was able to do that with a pair of trainers. So with um, my outfits now, I tend to wear my Gucci loafers. I tend to wear a nice pair of trainers. I wear my Dr. Martins. They're all quite nice shoes. They're all flat. And these Alexander McQueen trainers are just amazing. So let me show you. So they come in the box, that's the top of the box. Annoyingly, they do not come with dust bags anymore because of sustainability, which I'm all about. I love the sustainability aspect, but it would have been nice to have a dust bag with them. I feel like luxury shoes with the dust bag, it's just a bit nicer. But these are they. Now, as you can see, they are platforms. I should have cleaned them before I showed you, but you know, this is real life. Um, ooh, I really should have cleaned them before I showed you. <laughs> but this is real life, it's fine. And um, these trainers are just so comfortable. Now, the, they are a platform shoe, and the platform I really like. I can drive in them, which is a massive, massive bonus. I got the silver back of the shoes because I wanted to keep them quite basic and quite um, wearable with pretty much any outfit. I was tempted to get the black ones, but I am really pleased that I went for the white ones um, because again, trainers, you know, I have got black trainers. I've got a black pair of Nike Air Force Ones and um, I wear them day to day. But for going out and, you know, things like that, I'm really, really pleased that I got the white ones. So let me show you this one. Now, the laces are a bit grubby. They could probably do with a wash. They have got some scuffing here from where, you know, when you sit on a, a chair and you kind of put your um, heels together, this bit, the metallic bit does tarnish and does rub a little bit and it's got the nice thick platform at the bottom as you can see there is hardly any wear there at all and i have used these a lot um and the front of them no scuffs at all it's really great this is really solid the toe is really solid but it bends here so when you're walking they're totally comfortable and with this nice thick platform they're quite bouncy the laces are really nice, really thick. I just think they're great shoes. And again, I'm not a fashionista by any stretch, so I will be inserting some pictures of some more fashionista -y type people with the kind of outfits that I wear them with. Now, as I've said, I'm very much a skinny jeans type of girl, so I wear them with my skinny jeans. I wear them with my flare jeans. I have a pair of um, like boot cut jeans. I wear them with those. Um, I love these with my, I've got a pair of faux fur, faux fur, faux leather trousers and I wear these with them and with a nice big jumper on just a really kind of like slouchy but still quite um, fashionable outfit. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love them. Um, so as you can see, I'll show you that scuffing again in case this is something that would be an issue for you. And on this one, it's on the other side as well. I haven't tried to get it out yet, but because it's not, to me, it's just not that big of an issue. Like, I like shoes and I like to look nice and everything, but I want them to be wearable. I'm not very precious with any of my kind of luxury things. I think I said in my 
um, in my Gucci handbag video, you know, once you've bought the item, you need to forget how much you paid for it. It's a, it's a usable item. You have to wear it. Otherwise, it's an absolute waste of money. So with these trainers, that's why when I got them out, I didn't realize they were filthy. Um, that to me is a good thing. So it means that I'm not too fussy. I have no idea what's on here. I think it might be like bean juice or something. I, don't, I do not know. But I will get my wet wipe out over them in a minute. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. And to clean them, I mean, I just use a wet wipe. And um, I might actually just demonstrate for you now how easy it is to get these back to their best. There you go, good as new. That was literally a real time once over with a face wipe. Uh, so that's great. That was a simple face wipe, just my regular one. And they're good as new. The base obviously is dirty, but they're shoes, so obviously they're gonna be. Um, so any sort of, you know, very um, superficial marks or anything, a bit of dust, uh, bean juice, which it looked like that was, will come off straight away. And obviously with the laces, you can unlace them. You can put the laces in the washing machine. I did get a spare pair of laces with the shoes, which I have got um, set aside. So if I did want to wash these ones, I could just swap them out and I could still wear the shoes. So let's talk money. Oh, God, so when I bought these in 2020, they were 325 pounds. Now they are about £350. They have had some quite significant price increases. These trainers are really popular and they are still really popular. Um, between guys and girls, these are a unisex trainer. So guys can wear the exact same ones. And I have actually seen guys out and about wearing the same shoes. Um, but I just love them. I don't care how popular they are. I don't care if I'm not the only one wearing them. And I really cannot rate these highly enough if you want a pair of nice designer trainers. I was going to get the Gucci ones, but they are literally everywhere. The Gucci Ace trainers are everywhere. And these, I feel like they're just not as uh, popular as the Gucci ones. So I went for these. However, um, Gucci are bringing out a collaboration with Adidas and I am definitely going to be investing if I can get a pair um, because they are going to be very popular I feel I definitely want a pair of the Gucci gazelles because they are fabulous so watch this space if I get those I will show you and I have the money ready and waiting to go for when that launch happens um but you have to pick the trainers that really speak to you I feel any designer goods that you buy anything that you um, lay out a lot of money for I feel like you do it has to make your heart pitter patter you have to think I cannot be without this I need this item in my life immediately if not it is a waste of money and like I say I do not wear these trainers every day I don't wear them for special occasions I just wear them when I want to wear them and now that it's um, kind of spring summer I will get a lot more use out of them I, I am not a princess with them however I don't tend to wear them if it's raining because I just don't really see the point. I've got other trainers that are more than serve the purpose. So if it's a nice day, I would prefer to have these out. So I do wear them with dresses. I do wear them with like say my faux leather trousers. I wear them with jeans. You can wear them with shorts. You can wear them any which way you like. So um, do I recommend these? Yes. Are they worth the price tag? Yes. I've had these two years. And okay, I've got some scuffing there, but nobody's gonna see that. It's on the inside anyway, because that's obviously like where my two heels rub together. So, you know, that's that. But if you do that, they look absolutely perfect. And, um, you know, I just I just love the look. I just think they're just really cool. I love anything with a platform on it. Anything with a bit of extra height, I'm here for it. And they are super comfy. So that's how they look in the box. 
Um, the box I do keep at the bottom of my wardrobe. I don't just sling these in the wardrobe like I do with all my other trainers and shoes. Um, I do take a little bit more better care of them because they are my most, actually no, they're not my most expensive pair of shoes. My Gucci loafers are my most expensive pair of shoes. However, these are a very close second. So guys, I hope you found this video useful and I hope you enjoyed my two year anniversary with my Alexander McQueen trainers. And um, I hope to see you in my next video. Take care and I'll see you soon.